Welcome to this tutorial on using and use our powerful stable diffusion software. Today I'll be walking you through a key feature, Advanced Mode Feature Extractor and Control Next. Today I'll be using the Dreamshape of V7 and LCM model. Feature Extractor and Control Next are the most complicated generation methods we've covered so far, but not by a lot. So far we've covered how image to image and paint to image etc are just ways to format the initial noise used in the stable diffusion. Control nets are just more ways to format that initial noise and Feature Extractor is a way to extract that noise from images in a way that we can use with Control nets. So in the same way that an image can be used as the initial noise in image to image, instead of using an image that noise could be something else like a depth map or an edge map or some other form of noise. Now to use Control nets and the Feature Extractors you'll need to make sure you have the models installed over here on your model manager just under control net models and feature extractor models today i'm going to be covering the canny depth and hev control net and feature extractor models so for example the depth control net will just use a, a depth map for the initial noise of the image and so the feature extractor for depth will just extract a depth map of that image that could be used in a, con in a depth con control net. Um, and Canny and HED are just edge maps, so similar to a depth map, but edges instead. This will make more sense as we go. Uh, so if I go back to my image generation, and I begin here at hex to image and load my DreamShaper V7 model, I'm just going to give it a simple prompt, a cool 80s car, and I'm going to generate that, and just cycle through till I see one that I like, let's say I like this image a lot, I can send that to my feature extractor, and so I'll start with depth models. So I'm going to load my depth map extractor model and execute. And so that's going to give me a depth map of this image. So I can send that depth map to image to image and load my DreamShaper V7 model. And this time I'm going to load a depth map control net model. I'm going to give it the same prompt, a cool 80s car, and generate. And just like that, I'm generating images from a depth map. And so, maybe I just want a sp specifically a black car. Futuristic cyberpunk car. And I'm away, generating images from a depth map. And so I can do the same thing. If I just go back to my feature extractor this time instead of depth, I'll get a canny edge map. So I'll load my canny model and extract. And so now I have a canny edge map of the same image. Send it to an image, load the canny model, cool 80s car, and I'm generating images from the edge map. Just as simple, an HED edge map, load that model, execute it, and I've got now an HED edge map of that image, send it to image to image, load my control map for HED, I've got generate. And 
it's as simple as that. So hopefully I've shown you everything you need to get up and running using Feature Extractor and Control Nets and Amuse, and I'll be back in another video to explain more features.